Hello there and welcome to another one of these uh, let's talk about videos. Um, basically, <laughs> yesterday's recording was a bit of a disaster and I'm sure you probably have seen it before if you do watch this channel or you do watch any of my crappy videos and you should know how bad yesterday's video was but at the same time I was just sort of rushing it. Today is a different day even though I'm wearing the same Christmas jumper. Um, and today we're talking about something completely different. Uh, <laughs> something that a lot of people have been talking about, and that is the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to like deny the fact that I admit I am a Sonic fan. I do enjoy the um, video games. I find them enjoyable. Uh, Sure, there are some that aren't very good. For example, I personally find Shadow of the Hedgehog to be the worst of the lot. Sonic 06 is the type of game that is so bad it's kind of funny in that sense, but at the same time, it's got some really fucking awful moments in it. I did get angry when I played that game. Um, you know, Rise of Luke was also pretty shit as well. I, I never cared for that game. The Brotherhood one, where it's meant to be an RPG, has potential, but. Yeah, it was shit. But aside from that, I'm quite a Sonic fan. I mean, I used to watch the cartoon when I was young. Uh, the cartoons, I should say. Um, there was the Sat AM one, there was the uh, Sonic Underground, and Sonic X, I believe. Um, those were the three that I remember watching in particular. Um, so, yes, I do have pretty much all the mainstream games I do in some format or another. I do admittingly have the complete series of the Sat AM animated series, the one with um, Sally Acorn. So with that out of the way, let's actually talk about Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. <laughs> um, okay, so I first found out about this um, via some forums and groups, Sonic the Hedgehog related. Um, not the type of weirdos that do weird DeviantArt fetishes or um, original characters. <laughs> um, the ones who basically talk about, okay, what they like about this character, what they like about the games, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't really communicate with them personally. I just have a scroll through what they're saying and that's it. Um, and what news has uh, popped up here and there. Uh, that lasts mainly it. And... Um, <laughs> I first found out about the movie, and as soon as they said it was live action, I thought, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, instantly, right there, you know your movie has fucked up. You have failed, you might as well just pack up and leave. You might as well just give up. As soon as you make something that is cartoony, as soon as you make something that is video game related, live action, you fucked up. Like... I don't think there's ever been a movie that has uh, been based on a cartoon or a video game or a cartoony video game that has been made into live action that has ever worked. And yeah, so I had no hopes and I simply said, well if I didn't say it out loud or I didn't t type it up, I simply said to myself, yeah I'm not going to watch that. So recently, as you probably may have guessed, They've released some posters, two posters in particular, and um, yeah, the reputation hasn't been very good. Um, <laughs> so the first poster has Sonic's uh, silhouette, more or less, and there is one good thing about it. I like how his back quills, the hair, you could argue, they look alright. That's the only thing that looks good on it. The rest of it just looks weird. <laughs> it's just... Like, the face looks like it's going to be a realistic hedgehog's face. In fact, there are some memes out there showing it to be like that. And <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Um, but that's not the worst part. The worst part <laughs> is the um, the body. The actual body. Like, you might be able to see it on the side or in the corners here. I might put it in post-editing. Um, basically... Oh, God. <laughs> Basically, these 
The body looks like some muscular midget. Like, the type of shit that you see from a midget wrestling league, you know. A muscular fucking midget. It doesn't look... It doesn't look like Sonic. <laughs> you know. And, well, that's the issue about making something that's cartoony into live action. And it looks fucking weird. It just... Ugh. And it's made worse by the shoes, which are uh, not very... Don't look like the iconic Sonic shoes. I mean, sure, they're red and white. You got that bit right. Um, but, yeah, they uh, they almost look like they're going to be some sort of advertisement for some sort of shoe brand. That's how bad it looks. Um, but that's not the worst part. Oh, no. There was actually a second poster released. And the second poster um, shows these legs. And, oh. They just, they, they didn't look good. It, they, it looks like some sort of human, a human with blue hairy legs. Just, it doesn't look like Sonic. <laughs> I guess that's the best way of putting it. Um, it just looks weird. It looks too organic, you know. These weirdly muscular legs. Um... You know what, it almost looks like some sort of fucking furry. That's how it looks like, it looks like some sort of fucking furry. <laughs> it's It just looks stupid, and it even has like Sonic Worlds here, you know. Because that's not old. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't surprise me if there's a bunch of 90s references in the movie. You know, which w wouldn't be bad in competent writers, but these people aren't going to be competent, are they? Um, so, uh, the other bit of news was the fact that, obviously, Dr. Robotic, or Eggman, however you want to call him, I don't mind using both, personally, um, is going to be played by Jim Carrey. This was known months ago, and, uh, I don't mind Jim Carrey. I like Jim Carrey, but at this current moment in time, the way things have gone in his life, how miserable his life has been... Lately, I I feel like a movie like this shouldn't be. I don't think he should be in a movie like this. I feel like I feel like he could do a lot better, like especially in what's happened to him. And I I dread to think what they're gonna make Eggman look like, because it wouldn't surprise me if they make him look like a businessman, like a big grey suit businessman. You know, he has glasses where you can see his eyes and. You have like a fucking you have fucking hair or a beard. He won't look bold with a big goofy moustache. He won't wear the red trench coat. He will just look shit. <laughs> and you know it wouldn't surprise me because it's a fucking live action movie. And as I've just said, live action is bad. Um. So what else? Uh. Oh yeah. The movie setting, which has actually pissed off a lot of people, uh, it's set in the real world, in uh, on Earth, not Mobius, like in the games or even the TV shows. Um, it's set on Earth, set in San Francisco, which I'm presuming is because it's Sonic Adventure 2 was set in something like San Francisco. It wasn't actually San Francisco, but you know what I mean. And um, I don't have a problem with it being set on Earth per se, but. You could create a fictional city. I mean, Batman or uh, Superman movies, they always... Well, they're set in fictional fucking cities. You know, um... And they're still on Earth. They're not, like, on some weird planet comic book world. Um, although that would be kind of cool. But, um... I digress. I don't mind it being set on Earth, per se, personally. Um... But... Considering how they're trying to push forward this live action, you know, look on everything and everything's going to be live action, it's. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go well at all. I, I do not think it's going to go well. I think it's going to go absolutely appallingly, and. My god, it just. It seems like it's going to get worse and worse, and I don't think this movie is helped by the fact that. Pokemon released a live-action trailer, which made 
which actually looks good, <laughs> you know, and I admit, I'm not a fan of Pokemon, I don't find the games that interesting, I've never really got into Pokemon, I play, you know, my friends encouraged me to play, and I played one game, and I just, I never really played it, I, I played it once and put it down, because I didn't find it that interesting personally, but Pokemon, uh, they got a movie coming out called Detective Pikachu, which not only looks funny, not only does it, not only is it set in, in, in live action, but it's also set in a fictional live action world. It's, you know, it feels real while also, it also makes the Pokemon look like their characters, like their original characters, uh, designs, I should say. You know, the Pikachu looks like a Pikachu, that mime guy looks like the mime guy. Um, even fucking Jigglypuff <laughs> looks like Jigglypuff. They all look like their original character counterparts while made live action if you know what I mean they don't look they don't look like they're going to look shit like this movie's gonna be um oh, I, I dread to see the first trailer I mean and what really annoys me even more is the fact that it's probably gonna get all its money back because Sonic fans will go to see it even if they don't think it's gonna be good because it's Sonic the Hedgehog, and um, I don't think it deserves to. I, I want this movie to flop. I want it to suffer. I want it to lose money. I want it to be a crisis for Paramount, because, quite frankly, they don't deserve money if they're going to shit 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 shit, uh, shit stuff like this out, um, because the issue is you're feeding them money and they'll continue doing this crap. You know, it's same with Transformers and Michael Bay films. You know, you give him money, he's going to keep doing it. You know, you go to see some of these bad movies that Sony puts out, they're going to keep doing it. And they won't learn a fucking lesson until they lose their money. I mean, what was it? That Ghostbusters 2016, they didn't do well. And guess what? All their sequels were thrown away because they realised they fucked up. And, you know, I kind of hope that would happen more often, but it doesn't. You know, even in uh, the video game industry, they don't they don't necessarily lose money. They, they get the fucking money back. And I admit, I am to blame in some of these cases. I do go see some of these movies and or some of these, uh, or play some of these games, and... Essentially, I have given them money, which encourages that behaviour. So, I'm not innocent either, but when it comes to certain things, this it, it, they don't deserve anything. And quite frankly, when it comes to this movie, I hope in some ways it flops. I kind of do. Because it will teach them a fucking lesson. You know, and then it begs the question, you know, why wasn't it animated? I don't care if it means you need more resources to do it. Anima making it an animation, making something that is already cartoony, something that is based on a video game, animated, not only does it uh, give you more freedom with what you can do, you know, and let's be honest, Sonic's going to be an animated character anyway, he's going to be a fucking CGI model. Um, but, you know, so. Why didn't they make animated? You know, with animation you can do whatever the fuck you want, more or less. You can make it as extravagant and over the top and elaborate as you can, and yeah, you know, it would be a hell of a lot better. You know, I, you, you know, I even say that about quite a lot of other video game movies or a lot of other um, cartoon-based live-action movies. Why not just make it animated? Surely that's easier. Surely that keeps it more true to the characters and true to the shows and or video games, etc. You know, instead of making it live action where you're restricted by the real world and you can't really do much because you're in the real world. And in my opinion, it just makes no fucking sense. It just makes no fucking sense. And it's just a downright retarded decision and it never fucking works. Why keep on doing it? You know... Well, we already know why they keep doing it. Money, money, money. And that's why I hope it f flops. I really do. I hope 
people don't go to see it, it does lose money because it means they won't get any money and they might learn a fucking lesson. Um, so yeah, I never had any t intentions of watching it, and I certainly don't have any intentions of watching it. Uh, if you go and watch it, then that's your fucking decision, you know. Um, I'm not going to sit here and call you a fucking retard every five seconds because of your decision making. I just don't think it's going to be good. I don't. You know, instantly, with live action, you've fucked it up. You've already fucked up. Instantly, with the fucking posters and setting in a real world and realistic scenarios, you fucked up. And, yeah, uh, I, the worst part is I have seen some people defending the movie. I, you know, and it's, it's like, yeah, I get the whole idea of giving it a chance, but this is the thing. We've given these movie makers, these uh, producers, these companies enough chances already, and they've constantly fucked up. You know, how long will it be until we stop giving them an extra chance? You know, it, it's stupid, and yeah, it sucks. Um, it actually, you know what, it makes me appreciate that weird Sonic the Hedgehog movie from the 90s. You know, at least that. At least that had some memorable and cool moments here and there. <laughs> like Sonic like flipping the bird. Um, but, yeah, it's like, yeah, it doesn't look good. Um, so what was I going to say? Um... Basically, there is one thing that I am interested about this movie in, and that is the reaction of a certain individual, and that reaction is Chris Chan's. Now, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the fuck Chris Chan thinks, because, my God, if Chris Chan hated Sonic Boom and hated the redesigns and the bloody blue arms and fuck's sake, he even sprayed someone with, um, with um, pepper spray, if I remember. It it was pepper spray, yeah. Um, I sprayed pepper spray. I mean, this movie coming out, which already there's blue arms in it. <laughs> uh, oh, and the design is different. I, I wonder what Chris Chan thinks. Like, I... I can't go on the quickie and just find out if there has been any updates. I mean, the last time I checked, he's just been begging people for money because apparently his cat went missing or something like that. Um, or they're starving. Same shit as usual. Uh, but, yeah, it is interesting to see what Christian would think. You might find out there's been a mass shooting at a, at a cinema by the time this film's released. <laughs> Christian's voice. I was going to say it's something really offensive, but let's just leave it at that. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. Uh, it's going to be shit. I don't have any intentions of watching it. I already, I never had any intentions to watch it anyway. I didn't think it looked good. As soon as you mentioned live action to me and it's based on a cartoony hedgehog, you've already fucked up. I mean, look at Sonic 06, for example. They went for a realistic look. <laughs> look how that turned out. Um, yeah, basically, um, that's all that I gotta say, it doesn't look good, and I hope it flops.